Right, I'm joined by Dorky manager Mark White after tonight's tough defeat away at Bromley 2-1. After seeing so late, Mark, how disappointed are you with that result? After what was a generally a, a good performance? Yeah, I thought it was a very good performance, you know. Really good performance. Kept the ball for long periods. Looked a lot, uh, looked a lot more wondrous like um, And um, obviously we don't really deserve to come out of that game with... Uh, without anything to show for it. That's quite obvious, last kick of the game. Um, we've done so much that, that we worked on really well. Um, Bromley are always going to be difficult to break down. Um, I think, you know, it, 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 it Briggs and Blair and, 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 and the likes of them are sort of three, four games on from their injuries. You know, they're probably a little bit more effective. Uh, but we was working the ball into the right areas. We looked really dangerous. You wouldn't have been surprised to see us go in 2 0 up, I don't think. Um, so, yeah, um, definitely um, I think the minimum we should have got was a point. I think that's reasonable. Um, I think I, I like, I like um, Jason, the referee, mainly because he kept playing in the player final and he helped us get promoted. But uh, I think, he, I think he, um, they're definitely a call for a red card on Tom Blair who then had to get taken off. I think Harrison, in the last kick of the moment of the game, where the goal came from, I think he gets fouled. Um, I think um, I'm, I'm, I'm struggling to see with 94 or 95 on the clock, it was negligible. ball. I think, I think it's a foul. My instant reaction was the foul on the keeper. You'd be disappointed the other way around, Woody would be. Um, and, 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 you know, I thought those couple of decisions really didn't help us. Um, but I'll say, you know, Bromley, you know, our changes weren't the best. We were forced into them. So all of our changes were Tom was injured um, from that tackle. Briggsy started to tighten up a bit. He hasn't kicked the ball. And George felt his hamstring. So all three were forced changes. I'll be honest, I don't think the sub's done great. Um, and Bromley obviously finished the stronger. But for me, I'm, I'm, I'm really, really angry with the team, um, the management team as well. With two minutes to go for not, we had a corner. And they set the corner up with three centre arse in the box with two minutes to go. With no intention of keeping it in the corner. And I can't even believe I'm, I'm standing in the National League and saying that. I was screaming non-stop, you know, um, and um, the moment had gone. I thought it cost us so two minutes on, 93 minutes gone. You get a chance to hold the ball in the corner having been under pressure. Schoolboy stuff. Um, Schoolboy stuff, mate. Three centre arse in the box. Slinging the ball in the box against a, against a dead ball team. And I thought my management team were piss poor, if I'm honest with you. I've got to be straight about that. We've got, you know, several coaches here. All got your way for AAA, Duracell, Double B, you name it. And, you know, running commentaries on the game, appealing for decisions, Sunday morning shit, instead of, you know, leading the team, you know, uh, offering the support guidance you need when you're under pressure. I'm just calling it as I see it. I'm not, I'm obviously by no means perfect. I'm just being honest with what I see. We picked the right side tonight. We've got the tactics right. We got bitterly unlucky. And I'm fuming. With, I thought the behaviour of my bench was, was abysmal, um, unprofessional, um, and um, I thought that that rifled through the team. I thought a lot of panic went through the team when we needed stability, and it didn't help us. So, and, and, and you know, 19 coaches that want to argue every single decision behind my back with everybody in sight, and then, you know, I haven't got the savvy to work out we're just about to chuck a ball in the box against a, big, a dead ball team with two minutes to go. So, listen, I'm in charge against Horsham. Um, I blame the players. I'm moaning about the management team. Ultimately, I'm in charge. That's the bottom line. Um, we have a bitterly bad luck with injuries and we are trying to piece teams together. We didn't deserve tonight. We're unlucky um, and I'm disappointed. But listen, uh, what I would say is you don't win that many games like Bromley um, unless you're organised. And I credit the management team, the fans for getting behind them. Um, but um, we're a work in progress, Tom, and we are work in progress. We are, um, 
you know, we, 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 we're signing players, we're bringing players in, we're trying to get boys back from injury. We know we're looking forward to Alfie coming back. We are work in progress, but you can't afford to toss away points in this league. On a more positive note, I thought for the first 92, 93 minutes, I thought that was overall the best performance, obviously, of the season for talking in terms of building up from the back and going through the thirds, but just lacking a little bit in the final third, getting shots away. Is that something you agree with? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, I mean, I thought Bromley got shots away for their lack of possession. When they were in possession, they tended to get shots off and they made Harrison defend, uh, you know, and, and have good hands. Um, but it, it, was, it was definitely uh, our most dominant performance for some time, which is what we've said we really uh, want to work on. We've been going a little bit too direct recently. Mm. For good reason, we've had limited players and etc. I thought if you look at the boys that started that game, the 11, they'd done really well. Seager, Otway, all around the team. Tidy, you know, really good in possession. Luke Moore. As I said, I thought the presence of Luke Moore kind of evidence, especially like yeah. having that control and glued dictating the play. Yeah. yeah, Luke glued the whole game together. Um, and yeah, so it was a much better performance, but you've got nothing to show for it. And there was disappointing factors. Uh, I want to say thanks to the fans, obviously. Um, Debbie gutted, last kick of the game stuff. Yeah. I think it's a foul on Harrison, end of. Um, and, um, but you, know, you, buy, you, you buy your own luck, mate. And if you chuck the ball in the box with two minutes to go, with your centre arse up, honestly, that's, you know, park football, mate. Park football. Um, and, and I've, you know, you know, I'm not happy with the lads. The players should know that. You know, not sure. Not sure Tony Cray's playing. That he goes up for a corner with two minutes to go. Yeah. I think Tony says, "Am I hell?" Do you know what I mean? So, not sworn yet, have I? Once. Okay. <laughs> Looking ahead to Saturday, all the shot at home. Expecting a big crowd on Saturday, and as you said, some players coming back from injury. Alfie Rutherford maybe coming back from his loan spell. Any any further thoughts? Well, on that? yeah. I mean, Alfie's not back yet, but I think we've got a suspension or two yeah. now. Josh Taylor. So that's the next issue. Um, all shot of flying I think in the playoffs maybe um, they're near it if not they won tonight um, from two goals down as well really yeah. Yeah, fantastic fair play look they're going to pack out Medibank and, and, and clubs like us need a way support in there we're a small club bills to pay um, so we'll get ready for it I think we desperately if we look at Barnet tune it up um, today it's a comfortable point, two minutes to go. I thought in both of those games, experience let us down. Where's the leaders? Where's the experience? You know, and um, that's where we are. I'm licking my wounds again, obviously. The fans will be too. We are where we are. We will return um, and we will, you know, build a more consistent team. Mm. Um, I think this year, everyone knows we are, we're definitely a better proposition than what we were last year. But um, it's a division which is. Uh, you know, tough and you, you've got to have your wits about you. I'm not looking forward to Saturday. We've got injuries, we're short of players, we've got suspensions and we left a point on the table. Yep. Well, nice to hear from you, Mark, and see, you on, see you on Saturday. Thanks, mate.